So today, I've got 20 myths to test out in Roblox Bed Wars. Some of them are very overpowered if they were, but let's see which myths get busted and which ones actually are true. But I've got a myth real quick for you guys. Did you know that the man face man is going to be in your bed tonight if you don't like and subscribe? Alright, let's go Roblox Bed Wars myth busting now. So the first myth is that you can join deleted game modes through the custom map match queue. So you see how the 100 player bed royale game mode is gone? Let's go over to it and custom matches. So for this myth, we have to make any map, it doesn't matter, and we have to get at least one other person in the game. So to test this out, I've gotten some people in a custom match. I'm pretty sure it works better if you have like a lot of people so that it queues up faster. But we're just gonna go to a random team, start the match, and then literally just like break all the beds basically. There, all beds are gonna break in 60 seconds, so we just have to wait a minute to test this out. All beds are breaking in 10 seconds, so we are about to be able to do this. All beds have been destroyed, so now let's just go to players and kill basically everyone. Alright, now we just need to bring this guy to me and kill him. So now that he's died, we won and we can press play again. So if we press play again, then it should start queuing us up for the match. So it looks like this myth is actually actually true you can join matches but i'm pretty sure we actually need 100 players for this so yeah you can queue up for matches that don't even exist in the game anymore through custom matches the next myth is that you can get into the spectator box with a mini copter and telepearl so let's try that out let's try it so i got my telepearl already let's jump out and telepearl up oh wait that and that actually started putting me in the spectator box. Wait, let's try that again. All right, so if we have something to land on so we don't take fall damage, because I think it should work. We just need to... So there, this should be fine. And then let's go on the mini copter seat. And then we're going to telepearl straight up. So just telepearl. And we actually got in the spectator box. It worked. We got in the spectator box, guys. Okay. It is not fixed. We can actually get up here with mini copters. Okay, this is pretty crazy. I guess this works on all maps, but I thought they fixed the spectator box thing. I didn't expect this one to actually work. So this myth is actually true. All right, myth three. You can dance in the void. I don't know why this is a myth, but um, we're gonna try it. We jump off and then dance. Nope, that did not work. This myth has been busted. It, I, I don't know. Fourth myth, you can wall hop four blocks high. I do not know about this one. We're gonna just put a little bit of blocks behind me so we don't fall here, but I don't think you can, honestly. Like, I have went up three blocks before. Maybe with a specific animation you can, but it looks like this myth has been busted. Unless I'm doing it completely wrong, but like, I, I don't think you can, even with like more blocks on the other side. Yeah, I guess you can. I mean, sometimes it like lags and you can walk into blocks a little bit and then you could, but that's only sometimes, I guess. So this myth has been busted. Myth 5. As a spectator, you have white balloons, so let's take out my balloons, and you actually do. Okay, this myth is true. So my balloons are white. That's pretty cool. I guess that would also apply to Tesla coils, because wait, I can't- oh, I guess I can't put them- Oh, wait, why can't I put them down as a spectator? Uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but... Oh, maybe spectators can't place blocks. That makes sense. Myth 6, you can easily suffocate on landmines. So we're gonna do slash spawn invisible landmine a thousand, and we're just gonna- we're just gonna go all in with the landmines. Let's see what happens. Oh, there, I'm already taking suffocation damage. Yep, I just died to the landmines. Okay, that myth is true. Myth 7, you can freeze your game and freeze where you are. So if you jump in the void, you can freeze yourself. If you drag the white bar at the top of your screen when you're not in full screen, try that. I don't know if it will work because, I mean... Okay, I've actually done this one before. It worked on my old computer, but I don't think it works on Windows 11 probably. Let's try it. And... 
Yep, it didn't work. Okay. I know it works on old computers, so that myth is, like, partially busted, I guess, because it worked on, like, my old laptop, but it doesn't work on my new computer that has Windows 11. Next is you can get wheat, and I've never seen the wheat crop in Bed Wars before, but we're gonna try this myth. Slash spawn wheat, and the guy that told me this said 9099, and nope, that myth has been busted. Does not work. Next myth is when two lassies lasso each other it cancels out so we both got the lassie kit on and the lasso so i'm gonna say three two okay so we're gonna get our lasso ready his lasso is ready and we just lasso each other it did it lasso me wait let's try that again Okay, that, it just kind of cancels out with one of them, like, it doesn't work, so, I mean, it doesn't completely cancel out, it just, like, brings both of them together, so, I guess this myth is busted, it still does work, but it just, like, pulls them together instead of, like, completely canceling out. Next myth, if you use Jade Hammer, Void Hammer, and the Yuzi Sword, you can go up to the height limit. Alright, let's try this out, so, this this and this it looks like you can't like use them all at the same time wait let's try that again so we use this one first then this then this yeah it doesn't make us continuously go up like i thought it would I actually thought this one would work, but it doesn't really. It just, like, keeps you up a little bit. I mean, all of them work in a row to go straight, but they don't all work to go up. So, I guess this myth has been busted. Doesn't really work at all. Next myth, there's a secret shop called the Cauldron that you can only spawn in custom matches. So, slash spawn Cauldron. And here it is. So, you need eight diamonds to repair it. So, slash spawn Diamond 8. And then, once you go in, it, then you can buy potions for diamond. Next myth, if you die and use a telepearl, you'll teleport after you respawn. So I'm gonna do slash spawn telepearl a thousand. We're gonna telepearl as far away as we can and instantly reset. So, okay, it looks like that took too long to hit. We need to go even farther so that we can actually, like, completely try this. So we're gonna try going as far away as we can and telepearling as far as we can so that we can actually like respawn before the time is up so let's just get the telepearl ready to go up there and then reset it shouldn't land yet hopefully oh there it landed i don't think the telepearl can stay in the air for long enough for this to actually work like, because even when we go really far away, it still takes only, like, four seconds for it to land. So, I don't know if I can completely, like, test this one out, or if there would be a better option. Because respawning always takes, like, a bit of time. So, I'd say it should work, because earlier when I was getting the spectator box and I first died... It teleported me when I died. Like, it just teleported what was left of me on the floor. So I'm gonna have to go with this myth is true, but I guess, like, if you lagged, then it would take extra long for the telepearl to fall, maybe. So it could work. Next, you can use TNT as blocks for one second. So slash spawn TNT a thousand. Let's try this out. And well, that was like less than a second, but it kind of worked. I mean, I stood on it for like 0.1 seconds. Oh wow, we actually can. Okay, it does work, but it teleports you back because I don't think you're supposed to do this. So technically, yeah, you can, but then the game just, like, gets a little mad. <laughs> this myth is true. I remember this actually didn't work before, but now it works, I guess. Like, I've tried this before, but it didn't work when I previously tried it. When you shift lock, you fly faster in a minicopter. Okay, let's try that out. Slash spawn minicopter. And let's see if we actually fly faster when shift lock. So normally we fly at a decent speed, but shift locked. Wait, we can actually, is it even, no, I don't think sprint is actually doing anything. I think we're still going at the same speed. So let's turn shift lock switch on and see if it makes us go any faster. 
it doesn't look like we're going any faster, so I don't think we are. But the next myth is you can stop the vending machine with blocks, so we need to do that right now. Flash spawn balloon a thousand, slash spawn obsidian a thousand. All right, let's go up there and try stopping the vending machine with blocks. Will it land in the normal place, or will we be able to stop it? Let's find out. Nope, you can't stop it with blocks. Next myth, you can break coral, which is the strongest block in the game. Well, besides bedrock, with just one TNT. All right, let's just put coral here, slash spawn TNT a thousand, and we're gonna put TNT all over it. Yep, TNT breaks it. Okay, well, I guess that myth is true. So we both got a vacuum, and we're gonna vacuum each other at the same time. So whenever I jump, we're both going to press F. So we are going to jump now, and then vacuum each other so there it looks like we both became invisible oh we didn't stay invisible like the myth said all right so i guess this the myth is busted you both become invisible like at first when you both get trapped so you can vacuum each other at the same time but you can't both be invisible like after so if you want to join my videos then join my discord server linked in the description because whenever i need people to do something then i just ping the events roll so like there's a channel called self rolls in my discord and if you react to the events roll then you'll get pinged whenever we do something that i need people to join for but also follow my twitter at talanthric use star code talanthric to support my channel and linked in the description is a playlist named roblox bed wars guide slash series that has all my bed wars videos on it so check out for a lot of random Bed Wars content. Join T underscore claim by putting T underscore in front of your display name and then joining my Roblox group named Bed Wars Gauze. Link near the top of the description of this video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.